Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to continue working on part 9 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the last video, we were able to finish the second floor. Except we haven't added the windows yet. So we're going to use curtain wall again for those windows. So now we're going to add curtain wall and then we need to add it from the inside similar to what I did. So I'm just adding it from here and don't mind the errors. It's just stating that we haven't got anything yet from there it's not visible because we need to cut geometry on that walls so here i'm going to add a wall at, or a window at the top here that's why i'm adding it from there and then i don't know yet if we're going to add a window for the stairs so maybe we could do that later on but if we do it's gonna be nice because at least we made the stairs nice um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to modify and then click on cut geometry so you need to select the wall first and then the curtain wall And then from here, what we could do is we could gauge the height first. So I'm going to use this height. So, and then it's multiple aligned. So we can select different or multiple curtain wall and it will go down. But this one, this one is from the washroom. So I'm going to pull it up like so. And then here we're going to pull it up around this one. And then that same goes to all of them. We don't have any balcony. That's why I'm pulling it up like so. If we have a balcony, we need to pull it down onto the floor. So we're going to add the grid lines later on. So curtain grids and then the mullions afterwards. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add in wall. And those walls is, are sorry, a floor. And then that floor will be around the interior part of the wall. It's because I don't want to that one to be shown around here but most of the time when you're putting wall you need to put it in the core or in the midpoint of the wall usually it will be connected from the from like a pillar and then the interior wall would be it's either the framing um framing wood or sometimes concrete walls so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click floor again edit type duplicate this will be floor number 10 and then we're going to use wood so let's go and look for a wood finish and then I'm just gonna choose mahogany for now and then press OK and then OK. And then now we could use pick line so that it goes around the perimeter and the inside of the wall. And then as you can see, we will have some missing part there, but we'll be able to finish up or check it later on. Sometimes it will be overlapping, 
but don't you worry we're, we will be able to use trim and extend to cut those corners now let's see click finish and now we have a floor for our second floor we will need to add in a roof around here so we could do that later on what we could do is we could basically extend this one so that we will have something right here and then we could even have a glass corner that's showing the the stairs so we could do that for the stairs what you could use or what you could do is you can even edit the floor if you want to or what you could do is you could use shaft so most of the time when you're using shaft usually if you have multiple um, story building so you could be able to create a shaft so an opening but for here we could just use or just edit the boundary so edit the boundary and then we could just go around here so here what we could do is we could just pull it all the way there even this one as well and join element al and then click finish look at it in 3d and it will look like that but we still need to do something about it because we need something to close it off there and we could use the same railing cs and let's just add a railing right about here click finish and we can see it right there that looks okay and obviously we could even make it better we could use glass sometimes I use curtain wall as well so that it looks nicer or I I use even the I could show you is the support so the stringer you could even manipulate that you delete the railings and then you could even have those ones right there and it looks much better as well but some that's something that we need to think about later on once we're uh, finalizing the design as of now what we could do is we could um, add in the roof so you need to go to second floor first so that you can see the layout what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on roof and then from here I'm going to edit duplicate this will be roof number one edit change the thickness to 200 and then the material let's change that as well you can duplicate this so that we could have a white and then we could just change it later on so this will be paint number nine apply okay and then okay so now 
same idea pick line and then you just need to change this to roof but the reason that we went to second floor so that we could see the layout properly as well this as you can see there's a triangle there we need to undo this delete this because we need to uncheck define slow because we want a flat roof so now we just need to do same thing that we did earlier and then trim and extend those corners then i think we're good if we see it it will look like that now we need to go to one of the walls click on tab it will highlight all the walls that are connected in the exterior wall select so that everything is selected and then here we need the top offset to be 400 why 400 because the thickness of our roof is 200 and then we're going to add in a parapet of 200 high so that's why it's 400 and then now it will look like that We need to add roof for this one and this one as well so now let's go to our first floor and then we're going to add a roof we could use the same roof material or let's just add in another so what we're going to do is edit type duplicate roof number two and then for the paint, let's just duplicate that so that we could still change it if we want to. Press OK, OK, and then OK. And then now we just need to add the roof right about here. But I'm adding it right now without thinking because we need to move it later on because as you know, this one is extended a bit for the second floor so my understanding is probably we need to do something like that but most of the time I just want to add it first and then see what it looks like and then now what we could do is I added it for the first floor we just didn't add it to the second so now just select that this for this is for second floor base so now it will look like this so like I said we need to edit that boundary or that footprint and then what we can do as well is we can put it from the inside as well we can edit the footprint like so second floor let's see that and then we could see it from right here and then tr to make step so now it will look like that And then we need to add something right here as well. So let's go to second floor. It's not showing, so first floor. Let's add in the same roof. Let's just put it as uh, roof number two. And then here, go to second floor. And then now we just need to add it from here to here. And then let's see if that is correct. If our footprint is correct, which is, I think that's correct. So now 
only the top portion has parapet this one will be boxed in like so and then we could just edit everything else later on so now what i want to concentrate is the boundary walls like i said i'm going to cut this later on and now we're in the situation that we need to add or we need to change the materials or we need to pull this out so let's go to first floor and then here i'm going to pull this one all the way right here this one we should just delete and then this one we could just pull this one all the way right here so now the boundary walls will need to be lower probably around 1000 or 1500 but yeah i'll thinking of 1000 only so now it will be just a regular wall so i could just select this one exterior wall number one cs and then we could just edit duplicate exterior wall number two and then edit change the material so I'm thinking of anything, but let's put in like masonry and then brick. Apply, okay, and then okay. And then here, I want it to be top offset negative 1500 or 1000, sorry. After this, just connect it to the walls. It's like just adding walls around again. I wanted to do it so that we don't need to do it later on. So now at least we have that separation of height for the boundary wall. And then we could add this one, a different material. So I'm thinking that this one, all of this will have a different materials as well. So I'm thinking of changing this material or this wall to an exterior wall number three. Or what we could do is we could just use paint around it. So that it's easier to change so that um, if it's a face paint we could just use the face paint to change this one as well so something to think of and we, we could just do that later on later to our videos so thank you for watching and i hope you liked the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below